Hello. I never remember to put my arms on before I start. There we go. Um, things that have happened since I have last streamed Noita. I finally got through the Shadow Temple. Um, so yeah, I confirmed that I had done the bit above the Shadow Temple that leads you to the music note. I have found that before, but that doesn't really get me anything. But I hadn't done the area to the left, so I've now unlocked the Holy Hand Grenade? Which I used, I didn't even get to use, I picked it up and within seconds was decimated. So, at least I unlocked it. Unfortunately I didn't get to use it so it didn't end up in my list of spells. But that's all good. So, I'm not sure what's up next on the agenda. This is a good start. Just standard bombs and water. Let me bring up the Noita map. Noita map. What have we got? So... Oh yeah, there's that thing too. So, Shadow Temple's done. What was that again? The Buried Eye. Which if I had a black hole, I could get to May. Oh, actually, I don't know how far that is. I don't really have the context. I think that's quite a ways. I don't know if three black holes would get us there. So I just have to wait for the extremely rare... Wait, what is it? I don't have to fill an eye with teleporting. What's the chance of A, me finding the eye, and B, me finding having teleport? Fill the rare snowy depth spawn buried eye statue with teleport potion. Yeah, don't like my chances. Uh, the Heesey base does have this eye, uh, this hourglass thing. Fill with blood for money or fill with teleport potion to open a portal to the eye room. Again, chances are slim of me having both those things. Um, I'll try and remember. Ah, uh, the jungle. I don't know if the jungle actually has anything important. Oh, it does have something, yeah. Yeah, okay. What's in there, though? Oh, it's full of spiders. Oh, dude, I love Noida. Noida, Noida is my current addiction. I have won one. <laughs> I've beaten the game once. <laughs> um, and now, because I finished the game once, I'm just kind of trying to work on secrets and finding orbs of discovery. I'm just going through the map at the moment, trying to work out what I haven't found. Um, so yeah, I need to go left of the Heesey base. Oh no, I don't. Left of the factory. Oh, I hate the factory. Yeah, that's basically... That's the entrance to the tower. I don't want to do that again. And I don't think I'm going to be doing the triangle boss anytime soon. No, I don't even know how to prep for the alchemist, to be honest. Where is he? He's over here, isn't he? Oh, he's- oh, he's there! Oh, so I have to go through the water area or enter from the top of the snow. 
Yeah, I know the alchemist is kind of where it all kind of starts. I know unlocking his stuff is kind of integral to kind of doing bigger runs. But I don't even know where to begin. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Do the god run. So intimidating. <laughs> oh, gods. Yeah, I still need to go through that little water area, but I never seem to get a light spell. Or a good spell to get through the... Uh, Alright, we'll run around on the first level and see what we get anyway, and make a decision from there. Yeah, he's quite important. I did have a lucky run the other day where I actually got a teleport, a uh, good teleport wand on the first floor. And I kind of flew around all the surfaces and got the, um, unlocked the rainbow and the different coloured shots for the first time. Actually, that's something I could do. I could go get a uh, piece of paper. Oh, no, I can't do that, can I? Um, you can. Yeah, you can give me tips if you want. I'm pretty noobish. I'm getting better. I'm definitely better than I was at building wands, but I still don't fully comprehend the wand wrapping and all that stuff. Wow, that is really not burning, is it? Give me my wand. Um, well, there's not much you can spoil. I've watched, like, streamers do extreme god runs and everything, so I've kind of- I've seen everything. It's just putting it into practice. It doesn't really compute as well when you're doing it yourself for the first time. Like, the amount of times I've seen people build god wands, I thought it would have been, like, locked into my head by now, but it, it really doesn't. I think, ooh, they put this here, and maybe that. And then it's like, not quite the god wand that I think it is. Yeah. Look, free gold. Please don't shotgun me in the head, sir. Thank you. Now the old acid trick. Another bomb wand. Here. See if I have better luck with my chests this time. I had one the other day where I got two bomb chests in a row. Wasn't very happy. Oh. It's 
flaming skulls never feel like they're a threat at all. I don't really understand what their deal is. Unless they melee you, I suppose. If you can, have I got a light spell on the first level before? I think what I need to do is just look up a proper guide and start doing things. Hello, friend. Oh, wait, do you mean the bottom of the water area? Mm, true. I'm going to die to a frog in a second. That's good. Um, okay. I didn't think of that. But yeah, is it... Uh, is light a requirement? I know it recommends it on the wiki or whatever, but I feel like getting light spells in this first area is very unlikely. Get out of here before I die. Got a good bit of gold, but we didn't find any hearts. Light or torch, otherwise this is fun. Yeah... I do have three extra bombs, but I wouldn't... I don't think I want to risk it with 17 health. Oh my god, how did I survive that? <laughs> I caught that like a champ. Let's get my gold for my trouble. Cannot risk getting on fire. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Come back, yeah. Oh yeah, the all-seeing perk, yeah, yeah. Actually, it's quite- you can quite often find all-seeing wands in the first area. Jeez, I've never seen that wand before. Mmm, recharge of 187, that's good. <laughs> the best no shuffle Ugh. two seconds even one second is not great Ooh. might do in a pinch uh what is this shuffle yes mind you um, Hold on to them till I know what to do with them. Hmm. Would you recommend how viable is 
basically getting to going through a standard run and then just returning back to the top via the tower. That way you have like a bunch of strong stuff to go from the get-go. Is that a normal tactic that people do? Because I actually did, ac accidentally did that once. I did the tower the first time I ever got down that far. I didn't realize what I was entering into and I stupidly <laughs> climbed all the way to the top and then was like, oh fuck. And then I came down back down to the boss. That was the most cursed run. Do I want fireballs? Yeah, I didn't enjoy my time in the tower. I don't particularly want to try climbing it again. Yeah, it is a pain. That was the most cursed run I've ever had. The closest, before I'd had my victory, it was the closest, I, closest I'd come to a victory. It was just insane. Manamax 70. Ugh. I don't think it's worth buying just for the fireballs. Ooh, a uh, wand experimenter. Hmm. Two potential healers. Ah. That can be good in a pinch, I suppose. Try not to break the mountains. Hmm. Yeah. Yep, yep. I put a bomb there, it's not going to stay there, is it? It's going to roll down. And I'm not good enough to do the old, um, shoot back into place trick. Oh, I didn't mean to- oops. I didn't think of that setup. Oh, I cast three spells at once. <laughs> I did not see that. Whoops. The old double bomb. It does feel like if you want to do the god run, you just have to do something so awfully specific and kind of, yeah, follow a proper guide. I don't think you can kind of brute force your way just with a, a lucky run. Also, there's no way I could beat the um, alchemist without a guide because I know that he's got some insane immunities. Like, I know a lot of people always say, like, this game is built to be kind of exploited, because no matter what, the game will punish you. <laughs> you basically need to. Because, like, I know, like, there's the heart mage ex exploits and all that, but... I don't know. It feels so strange to... have to do that kind of stuff. our teleport wand. Oh wow, okay.
yeah, that's basically what, <laughs> that's what all the guides say, yeah. It's justified because the game will find a way to cheese you back. It is playing the game's own game. These guys have like zero interest in me, they're just going past me. Oops. Oh, that's the oh, it's the one of those ones. Homebringer. I don't want that. So the Killing Steve to get a perk. How does that work? So what, going, being a worm, obviously that breaks this thing, angers the gods. Yeah, sure. I don't know if I'll use it, but I am very curious, because I don't think I've seen it before. Away with ye, beasts. Let's be going to the fungal zone, but I keep getting distracted. Uh, when you want to spawn a holy mountain, you want to hide behind the statue to the left. Steve will come, and when he is above your head, kick the statue. Yeah, I'm so bad at that. I pulled it off once. I can't remember if that was using the left statue or the right statue. I always seem to line up just a little bit wrong and miss him. Oh, the tablets. Yeah, I forgot. I remember... I remembered there was something about the tablets, and then I've forgotten what it was. <laughs> I came back after playing uh, after a while, and I saw a tablet. I'm like, pretty sure I can do something with these, but I don't remember what it was. Uh, okay, that's pretty cool. Mmm, acid and lava. Who the fuck has a bomb wand? <laughs> Who the fuck is throwing bombs? That oh, was you. God, I hate these ghosts. Oof, man, I am getting hammered every which way. You mushrooms can stay there, thank you. I am busy. And I'm not letting you kick me to death. That happened before. They're quite formidable with their legs. You just keep your distance, mister. Thank you. Oops, didn't realise I was standing on a barrel then. Oh, at least I can pick up these wands to heal. Oh, I can't use it though. Oh, I can. It still counts. Sweet. Not a bad healing method. Hey, Ant. You son of a bitch. It's 
Stay away, fiend. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, oh god, oh god, oh god. No thank you. Yeah, I, um, realized that from a streamer, because he was saying, because if you, you're someone who constantly makes god wands, the ghosts start carrying god, god wands to use against you, which seems like a little bit of a, <laughs> I know you can go into the any files or something and delete your wand history so they don't actually do that. Yeah, it kind of sucks that it kind of punishes you for being good at the game. <laughs> Luckily, all my guys just have a really shitty one, so... One bonus, I suppose. First time I've seen one with a bomb one, though. Funnily enough. Ooh, extra mana! Ooh, actually, hang on. Is that a shit one? Got always speed up, which is pretty good. Not too bad. Hit mana charge speed. I mean, yeah, that's true. You do get an insane wand if you... But they usually you fight them on, like, early levels where you have crap wands, or at least I always do. Yeah, I've, um, done the shroom thing in the fungal caverns where you can see the, uh, thing and get a, a fungal shift going. On the little pyramid triangle thing that's in here. I was actually reading yesterday on the wiki about the whole fungal quest. Again, though, that seems a little bit out of my league. Um, the ginormous mushroom underneath the desert. Where you trip balls and it shows you five locations around the world that you have to visit. Is that the beginning of the sun quest? Can't remember. No, I'm not gonna make through. I do like the idea of fungal shifts, but it can really fuck you over if you uh, get the wrong one. Oh shit, that's right. God, I hate dealing with these guys. Ooh, Ambrosia! Uh, what do I want to get rid of? Don't need a broken one, do I? I do like rebuilding the broken ones, though. Not that it's ever served me well, it's always- I always get a really shit one when I do that. Alright, hang on, I'll try and do a fungal shift. I bet you I get fucked over so hard. But, for the sake of fun, uh, where was the biggest collection of mushrooms? Down there should do. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Lava. Well, that's oh, no, that's not a good sign. <laughs> Does that mean lava has become something else, or something has become lava? I can't remember. 
You can direct it by holding a flask. Ooh. I did not know that. Ah, okay. That's cool. Hello, Terminator. Have a bomb. Oops. Well, I'm a wizard. I'm a wizard. Ugh. I'm a wizard with very limited hovering. So, what do you need to beat the alchemist? Because... Like I said, I remember he's, like, immune to a lot of things. You need a very specific build to defeat him, don't you? Oh, no, I'm stuck here. I thought I could get through this crack. You don't need anything special, really? I thought he was like immune to like a lot of the elements or something. Well, not elements, like like specific type of damage or something. Or am I thinking of the other? There's a few bosses that look like the alchemist, or a skin swaps. a lot of shroom reflecting shield okay maybe I shouldn't be so intimidated by him though. has a bomb on it anyway. Um, oh you son of a bitch. Oh, he's the one that makes you fire automatically. Good. Oh god. Please, don't hit barrel. Careful. What's that? Brass and fungal pouch. Ooh, a heart. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, the boss at the top of the pyramid. Is he tough to beat? The Kraken has a ton of resistance and Mecha Colmy does as well. Oh, okay. Oh, that Kraken. The Kraken terrifies me. I don't like giant undersea bosses in games. They fucking freak me the fuck out. Maybe it's the ghost I'm thinking of. Shop. Oh wow, none of those are particularly fantastic. My god, I'm rich. I can see you, you invisible bastard. Try and sneak up and freeze me. Oh, okay. I'm not sure if that's the one I'm thinking of or not. Let me Google him. What's he what's he called? Is he literally called the ghost? Yeah, I had a feeling he might have been quite easy. Cause he's he's probably one of the easiest to access. Uh Noida Ghost Boss? 
Oh, that thing. No, that wasn't what I was thinking of at all. Uno Hedetu. The Golden Cave west of the snowy chasm. Well, he looks delightful. West of the snowy chasm. Checking out me map. What's a snowy chasm, that? Yeah, I was actually quite surprised that the bridge boss is actually the hardest. I read that the other day, I was like... Because he like basically reflects and turns every single spell against you or whatever. portal <sighs> oh god I'll have to describe to you I, I can't remember it's so long ago so my incredibly cursed noiter run the one that I thought I for sure was gonna win I had the most blessed and cursed run that I think anybody in Noita has ever had. So, uh, I had a wand that basically had infinite heals, but it was like the healing circle. So it makes a circle. So the problem with that was if there was a melee enemy, I think it was always cast that. So it, it shot people and it healed me. It was like the most amazing, perfect wand. But if it was a melee enemy, of course, they would end up on top of me and I'd heal them instead. So I had to switch to another powerful one to kill them. I had both of the second life perks. I was basically immortal. This is the one where I, I managed to climb the tower. Nothing seemed to be able to kill me. Halfway up the fucking tower for the first time ever, I got that fucking gross human leg mod. So I lost the ability to fly properly and I had to climb up the entire tower with my gross human leg mod. Um, which made it really fucking hard to get into those diamonds at the top of the tower. Because you can't hover, so you, I had to like awkwardly do this jump across to the tower. Finally made it out of the tower, got to the top, was like fuck, now I need to go back down to the boss. Went all the way through to the bottom got to the boss area and I can't remember what specifically I had an item that was letting me charm monsters and I charmed a big Steve and he was helping me we literally beat call me but before I could collect the thing the big Steve turned on me I was forced all the way back to the spawn tucked in the corner healing myself and the fucking big Steve killed me before I finished the game it was unbelievable. I was so livid. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't pick up the icon after I killed the boss. Because, yeah, it was so weird. I was so angry. Whoa! <laughs> That was the most noiter experience I think I've ever had. <laughs> and I've never, to this day, never found a wand that has come close to how good that wand was. The fucking auto heal every single... <laughs> well, I'm guessing that might have pissed Steve off. Just a feeling. 
Fucker now. That's not fair. RNG. Thanks, Noida. Wait, no, is that what's happened? <laughs> oh, fuck. No. Really? Oh, you're right. Yep, the fucking bugs are turning into acid. No. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, that's going to make Colmy very interesting. Not that I'm going to get anywhere near him, I'm sure, but... It doesn't say God is mad till I get to the holy mountain, though, does it? We'll see what happens. Um, sorry, which boss did you think I was... Oh, is in, what, the ghost one or whatever? Ouch. Let me quickly look. Yeah, I'll... Hang on, let me... Wiki is not fantastic. Oh, I might have been thinking of the Master of Masters. Is this the alchemist with a funny helmet on? <laughs> and bloody arms. Yeah, I think I was thinking of the Master of Masters. <laughs> Immunities, fire, ice. Cannot be glued. Resurrection immunity. Immune to physics damage. Immune to touch of spells. Immune to being stunned by electrical shocks. Immune to being polymorphed. <laughs> the master of masters. Yeah, doesn't he have, like, orbs that, like, rotate around him or something? Or am I thinking the Alchemist again? Oh, yeah, four death orbs and four blood orbs. Four death orbs make it invincible, so they have to be killed in order to deal damage. Four blood orbs are not to be killed, but avoided, as the damage they receive will be unavoidably dealt back to you. That's a pretty cool mechanic. What am I doing? <laughs> Why am I doing that? Uh, woo, that's a lot of triggers. That's a lot of triggers! Seven spells cast at a recharge time of three. Um, I'll take the heal. Thanks. Infinite Lifetime spell. <laughs> no! <laughs> I 
fuck. <laughs> oh, where is an interesting area that's going to have lots of lava that's going to be completely fucked up? Decimated. Um, okay. I need to get a good one going. Do I need a light spell? I don't intend to do the Shadow Temple again, I don't think. A good thing to have on always cast. Um, let's collect these off before I forget. Don't think I need that many acids. Keep one. I doubt I'll use it. Uh, what's my best no shuffle wand? Oh, yeah, true. Uh, would I be better off with the Luminous Drill with Timer if I want to turn it into something? Or do I need like a mega, a wand with a lot of mana? I think the most I have is 340 on a no shuffle. Need you. What am I talking about? I have like infinite money. I don't need to worry, I don't think. Alright, let's experiment. I need to learn somehow. So, what is the best? Pretty good. It turns into a double cast. one. Yeah, that's probably better. <laughs> ah, okay, cool. Excellent. Thank you. 
Um, what do we want to do with a normal one then? So if I put this here, does that do anything? Does do these does project uh, projection speed and cast delay get included into these or not? Yes, it does because they're jumping straight down. Yes, I'm happy with that. So that's my digging one. Do I want a backup magic missile just to deal with really powerful foes? That's what I always do. I always get two power ones and one digging one, then I only have one one spare to dig around with. Ooh, faster projectiles. I'm always tempted to shuffle and try and risk getting so I can get an armor. Ooh. Yeah. I like all seeing eye. Now, I do not want... So how does this go? Oh, that's... Okay, I've got them around the wrong way. That was not smart. Nice, okay. Very good. Now I need to find some ones to heal, because I'm an idiot. And I took down- ooh, Half my health. That's what I wanted that for. Whoa! I'm stuck on the ice. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Okay, I don't want to deal with you at the same time. Go away. Earth elemental, whatever the fuck you are. <laughs> Obliterated. Absolutely destroyed. Uh, do one more quick one, but then I might switch to some caves of cud, because I do want to try streaming that. That's a pretty good start, dynamite, not too bad. Oh, at least I know how to make an infinite drilling one now. That will become in handy. Thank you. Are you any good with your chainsaw wrapping skills as well? Because that still doesn't quite... I can kind of do it by accident sometimes, but... I don't always um, get it right. Modifiers with triggers are really great. Heavy Spirit is terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was doing that the other day. I don't know what made me question it, though. Something wasn't adding up to me, but I can't remember what it was. Of 
because I know the, um, what is it, the horizontal only one is a good one to have because it increases damage. I think the ping pong one's supposed to be pretty good as well. Hiding in the friends in the corpse of your friends, you coward. <laughs> uh, if you get chainsaw, we can figure out how to wrap it and make an insane wand. Yeah, it's. I think I'm all right, but what really destroys my brain is when you get a wand that already by default casts more than one. I that just like I lose it then. Are those good? Are those considered good or bad, the ones that cast like two spells automatically? Is it just the same as having a double cast automatically put into it? But yeah, I don't know. Kind of disrupts the whole chain or flow. do the cast two or three at the same time it's fine just got to think about it a little more yeah i think i i probably could wrap my head around it if i just took the time so is there anything what have you got left to do or have you are you a anointer master I feel like if you kill the master of masters, that makes you a master, but... Made a few sons in your time. <laughs> I've made a son or two. Most things. 33 orb run, 34 orb run. I cheated. <laughs> and hey, you have done the sun quest, yep. <laughs> I've created suns. I've run in the fields with the gods. check something okay we're all good we gucci
wrap normal modifiers, we're just putting it at the end, like having a Psyche Bolt and a Light after it. The Light modifier will look for a spell to modify and wrap. Okay, oh yeah, I get you. Yeah, I think I always think of doing it with like double, uh, double cast and stuff like that. What? <laughs> Stupid double frog. Yeah. Is that another another? It's like three frogs. Three frogs and run. And what other games do you play when you're not noitering? Getting a lot of gold these two runs. I don't usually do this well with money. I'm also not up to speed with the new alchemy systems. Um, Arboral Hala. Wait, is Brawlhalla the one I'm thinking of? No, it was not the one I'm thinking of. I haven't played Warzone in a while. I have been getting into Fortnite. I um, hadn't touched Fortnite in forever. And then I picked it up randomly again for the, um, all the Greek gods stuff. And got quite into it for some reason. Which, I don't know why, it never really grabbed me back in the day, but... Like, literally the last time I played it was when it had first come out. Um, my friends and I tried it, but that was at the time when PUBG was massive and all my friends wanted to play PUBG instead, so we didn't... We, Played a little bit of Fortnite, but didn't get too into it. Um, years later, I returned to it during the when they bought the Kakarot oh, Goku skin and had that kind of stuff going on. Again, didn't really get into it for some reason, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I I really did get into it for the great stuff. Not so much the current event, because of the all, it's all focused on vehicles that kind of lost me again. And I don't really like any of the skins. 
that are up for grabs, but... I think I got addicted to it because... I don't know what is going on with their player base. I think it's because there's so many people playing on phones and stuff, but... Like, I don't consider myself super good at games like that, but... Holy shit, there are people in that game that make you feel like a god. There are some truly awful players. People who just like slowly walk towards you and shoot and you're like, dude, what? I also got, I think the, the game that me and my friends had the most hours in was um, Siege. I have over a thousand hours in Siege. Oh yeah, Hearthstone. I got a little into that, but it never really completely grabbed me. Actually, funnily enough, my mum got more into Hearthstone than I did. She fucking loved it. I think the thing that put me off Hearthstone, because I had a friend that was big into it, and... His, him talking about the experiences he had and the ones that I heard people having online was just like, oh, everybody just builds whatever the meta deck is at the time and then <laughs> that's kind of it. It's like, oh, if you're not, not using the meta deck, I'm like, oh, I don't like that. I'd rather just kind of do what I want to do. And if that's not viable, that would just kind of suck. That is the exact same wand. Yeah, understandable. Um, dude, I play everything. <laughs> I've just about played everything under the sun. I'm terrible at sticking to single games. Um, I've been streaming a bit of Barony on the side. Um, I've also, yeah, been playing a bit of Caves of Cud. I got really addicted to roguelikes recently. Um, and I also had a really good Risk of Rain 2 run last night. I got up to the final boss for the first time ever. And it killed me on the last phase. I was quite unpleased. Um, what was I? Most displeased. Ooh, infinite spells! That's a good one. Oh yeah, Enter the Gungeon's good. I actually didn't get into Risk of Rain 1. I I wanted to. I tried Risk of Rain, the original Risk of Rain 1. I was so overwhelmed. I, the control scheme and just like the whole getting your head around the whole how long to stay in, I just, I couldn't get my head around it. I bought the remake that they released. What was that, like last year? Um... Enjoyed it more because I'd played two, so I had a better idea of what I was doing, but I still I find it so much harder than the second one. I find the second one more accessible. I'm not gonna lie, I think we might fungal shift again. That was kind of fun. Um, what else? Into the Gungeon. Let's go right to Hades. I need to play more of Hades. It's 
Skull the Hero Slayer, Noita, Darkest Dungeon. Yeah, true. There's a certain appeal of just being able to sit down and play them, eh? Um, what was missing on that list of really good roguelikes? You haven't played, uh, fuck, I always forget the name of it. Uh, hang on. I'm gonna have to Google it because my brain has ceased to function. It. What I wanted. Dead Cells. Have you played Dead Cells? As another top tier addictive roguelike. Ooh. Yeah, bo uh, I fucking love Dead Souls. There's something about, like, once you just get into a rhythm while you're playing it. Oh my god, that's so good. That's a big cooldown, but that's pretty cool. Consume the shroom. Consume the shroom. Protect me, my loyal slime. Oh, you teleported my slime away. Oh, friend. Whoops. Okay, I ate some teleporting. blood. Yeah, well that's the thing, like, those friends I was saying that I play Siege with and all that, they have all 100% got lives and don't game at all. All like, they do, they just play, like, little single-player stuff in their own time. We don't really play anything together anymore. God, this slowdown. I have all the parts ready to build a new computer and I need to get it done because that is ridiculous. I'm going to leave with my five health points, thank you very much. Ooh, that is a weird looking wand. 
Nothing I really want. Earthquakes good sometimes. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> Out of nowhere. Well, that's what you get for being greedy. I need to get into the habit of going down, securing the teleporter, then going back to explore. I always fucking do that. Um, okay, have you... Have you seen Caves of Cud? Because you're about to. Um, now, I don't want to do this. Um, I'm gonna do something really weird here. I'm sure there's a smarter way to do this, but I don't know what it is. I'm going to end the stream and then quickly start it again, because that way I could download the VODs separately for when I upload them. Otherwise, I have to separate them manually, and when I do that, I then have to re-render them, which takes me forever. So if I just start a new stream for the new game, I can do separately do the VODs. So I'll be back in one second. Do not worry. You might have to refresh or whatever. <laughs> 